the 23rd of May? Yeah, it is. We thought we'd do a plot update from sort of last weekend because we've had a busy few days at the plot. Three days. Three okay. days, yeah. These onions at the end of this uh, Enviro Mesh tunnel were in last week, but we've planted our leeks. I think you can see them through there. So we've planted them and we've covered them with mesh. It's Enviro Mesh to try to keep away. Um, Allium leaf um, niner. Yeah, that. So we're trying last year's method again. The, the, the planted in a little trench and as we weed they'll get sort of like earthed up and we'll get a bit bigger nice piece well, of once you dug the white. trench though you drilled a big hole yeah there's still you? a hole at the bottom of the trench just like we'd normally plant them it's just that they're in the bottom of the trench they're the only potatoes now that i need to earth up over there all the others have been done so for example these have been earthed up Hopefully they'll just need a bit of weeding now before we eventually start digging them. These have been weeded, haven't they? The yeah. onions and the peas have been weeded. We had a surprise, didn't we? The peas, certainly on this side, have germinated much better than we thought. I've got the a cover, theory. When the cover was on. Oh, go on. What's your theory? Well, if you look at some of the peas, they've got the little notches yeah. that pea weevils uh, nibble into them. Now, if those pea weevils were about as the shoots were just emerging... And just finished them off. Yeah, whereas when they're growing, they can grow through the damage. Yeah. But if they were just emerging and the weevils sort of had a picnic sort yeah. of thing, Possibly. they'd finish them completely. Yeah. Today's job, while well, I got this, these two rows of potatoes earthed up and we've planted out more brassicas. So there's, this, there's cabbage, calabrese, two sorts of cauliflower in there, isn't there? Two sorts of cabbage. Yep. And we've got space at the end of there to get some more in. We don't leave them uncovered though, dare we? Because no, the pigeons will move in. Tomorrow. Head over the other side. Over here. What have we done up there? Have we been busy up parsnips. there Parsnips. Oh yeah, parsnips. If you remember on our last one, the parsnips were a disaster nothing had germinated so sue has sown some parsnips in the same holes and in the same sort of compost as so what i did was where the holes of compost were i just poked a little hole with a stick and put one or two seeds in there are one or two that have come up but, but it's one or two, yeah, isn't it? I might have put more than two seeds in to be honest, but yeah. I thought, well, they can be pulled out. And then I weeded the onions as well. Now is it over to the other side? Yes. Right. You're conveniently forgetting the bits that I'd done. Well, you know me, I can't remember things like <laughs> that. We picked some of those red sweet peas, didn't we? I picked all the ones that were flowering and actually they had longer stems than I thought and they do have a bit of a perfume, even though the classified as not having a perfume. I wonder if they've cross-pollinated with something else. There's just a few more starting to try to flower. Or maybe because the other ones are so strongly perfumed. You don't notice they them. They don't rate. Our first early potatoes, Casablanca, got earthed up today. I noticed that there's just the first signs of some flower buds in there. I started doing the weeding between the These brassicas, brassicas, but it seemed as though it was going to rain, so I covered them back up again. Seems to have passed over now, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, anyway, so half have been done, but been it's done. just about time to go home anyway. Yeah. So we'll try and get those done the next time we down. Didn't do much to these 
beans did you hold between them all? Yes. Thought you might have done. And also we did between these young strawberries and took off some flowers which they persist in sending up. We're trying a few webs wonderful in this bed. Protected from pigeons, blackbirds and anything else. Two more rows of potatoes that got earthed up there. And we had... We weeded the carrots, the didn't carrots. we? And there was just one... Just one row, isn't there? That's not well, not the through. whole row, just a patch of flaky and or flaky off, whatever you call it. And we've just put a few seeds in to try and make up for it because otherwise the germination has been great hasn't it? It has. We haven't, felt, we haven't done anything in have we? We just no, weeded. No, they just have to fight amongst themselves. Yeah, we just get wonky carrots but they're all right. And I think finally then we've got sort of the leftover tomatoes have gone in the cold frame. Aren't they uh, blight resistant? Yeah, too, well, Yes, there's Crimson Crush and Cocktail Crush. Cocktail Crush we haven't grown before, so they're a first. We we'll have to wait. Are they and see blight what resistant? Like. Yeah, I think so. So we we'll are they little ones or big ones or? Uh, medium size. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, do you? I don't know. No. That's about it. Yeah. When I say it like that, it seems <laughs> as though there's not much, but we've been really busy, haven't yeah. we? Anyway, thanks for watching this update. Bye for now. Bye-bye.